Today, we travel to a stunning location, rejoicing in both mountain and sea air. Within a medieval deer park, a grand Georgian manor house is perched in front of a rugged backdrop of mountains and forests. Within the park are two tranquil lakes and rivers and acres of ancient woodland. A prominent and successful family chose this stunning vista for their family home in 1788. It was completed by 1796 built with local dark grey stone and slate. The manor was extended largely in 1805. Two large wings were added on either side. The whole extension was later demolished, reverting the manor back to the original rectangle shape. Remnants of the squash court, ponds and ornamental garden can still be found today. It passed through a number of wealthy hands over the years, and the impressive interior is now completely bare. The most recent owner received approval to redevelop the manor to match its former self, but this was left uncompleted, abandoning it in this sorry state. The original grand staircase reaches up to the third floor, Beautiful iron bolsters and a mahogany handrail remain. Much of what was once here has now faded and disappeared, but the manor remains, surrounded by the blissful scenery, 225 years later. Let's step inside and see what's been left behind. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are taking you on a unique tour of a Georgian mansion built in the 1700s and this place is grand. Mm -hmm. It is really, really grand. It was a hospital at one point, it was a big manor home. Even the Queen came and stayed here. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited to have a look around this place. Me too. Main path with all these fallen trees, all the sheep in the field. For a long time. And look at this, yeah, this path hasn't been used. In a very, very long time. There's like green moss going on it. Um, yeah. You can imagine back in the day when they were coming up here on horse and cart, God. just rolling up to the mansion. It's beautiful, this path. beautiful scenery here. Yeah. It's beautiful, surrounded by mountains. Mountains and sheep. This doesn't look like your standard Georgian mansion. They're normally like a cream sort of colour, but because this is in Wales, it's that traditional like big stone that they use in North Wales. Oh. Oh, ducks. Goose. Geese, yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a there's the pond over there. Wow. This is lovely out here. It is. It's beautiful. There's the old Noah look. Oh yeah. <laughs> I bet that's been there for like best part of a few years. But just check out this scenery. I think Wales is probably our favourite place to come. Yeah. It I is beautiful so. out here. You, you just don't get scenery like this anywhere else. No, it just feels nice in Wales. It does, it? it's got that nice vibe. Quiet and calm. Yeah. Nice. Getting close now. Size of it. Wow, it's huge. Really big. I'm excited to see the front. Oh gosh. Wow. That's incredible architecture. Look at the size of the um the boulders they used. It's insane, isn't it? They're massive. You don't see buildings like this very often abandoned in the UK it's anyway. It's pretty intact really. Most of the windows are... Most of good. the windows intact. I think this place suffered terrible fire damage though. Mountains out here. Imagine living in a place like this. 
I want everyone to take a second and just imagine living in a house like this. Imagine. This beautiful land, just driving up there on your horse and cart, with mountains in the background. Unbelievable. Right, so we've had a quick look around the outside and I think we're just gonna head straight in. There's nothing around the back, there's a cottage with cars there, so I think someone might be staying in that part. Yeah, I can hear someone yeah. rounding up their sheep as well, so. Right, let's do it. The front door, you can see the fire damage. Jesus. Yeah. This can't be, this must have been put on that way. I don't think this door's original, no. You can see inside, it's full of stuff. Look, there's the old like pillars and stuff. Oh yeah. So it looks like it's fallen apart in there, yeah. but all the stuff's still in. So I think we're gonna have to take our time, work out what went where, and all that sort of stuff. Look. look at those archways. So there was actually a lot more of this place, a lot more buildings, but they've been demolished. They were left with one building to explore, but I'm still happy with that. Yeah, At least it's a big building. <laughs> Down into the basement then. Mm -hmm. Stinks. Whoa. Oh, someone's pushed the door through. Oh my God, it's dark in here. Whoa. It's like a uh, big cellar sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You can see the fire damage though. Exposed all the wood. It's a huge basement. Wow, it's like proper vaulted ceilings. I wonder when all these newspapers are from. It's like a design cabinet. Oh, yeah. 2006. Yeah, it's cold down there. There's different sections down there. Ooh. Wow. Look at those old those doors. doors. Those are like proper um, cell like doors, aren't they? Huge. They were, do you reckon those were the doors for in here? Oh yeah, they look like it. Right, let's head upstairs then. Yeah. Wow, look at the old um, dresser. Stairs. That is a grand staircase. So even though this building has seen better days, it's still cool to explore a place like this, so big and so grand. There's still a lot of stuff left behind, even though it's like set on fire and it's all piled up. There's a lot of stuff in here to look at. It's the main. Um, it's the main way in. No. God, it looks like they were going to start renovating it at some point. Yeah, there's a lot. How do we get through? Let's get this old photograph. Gosh. Look, all the old cutleries here. All in plate, all wrapped up in uh, paper and stuff. Wow, look. That's just, how is that just sat there? Unbroken. This is crazy. You'd have think the fire damage would have damaged most of this sort of stuff. Oh, the piano. 
that's covered in mould that piano. It does work. It's another fireplace. This is a really strange explore because we're used to seeing the fireplaces in place. Yeah. But this is just like it's been gutted and everything's just lying it's around. Really <laughs> I, I, again, I want everyone to picture it of how it was back in the day with all the fireplaces intact. Old heaters. How do we get into this dark room there then? All the wood carvings are in here. Right, that is amazing work, metal work though. See how detailed it is. Wow, is this such a trip hazard here? <laughs> yeah, it is. God, I can't even walk around. Just a chair there. It's like nice how, um... someone's probably sat there just chilling looking out the window. It's nice how the windows go right down to the floor, isn't it? Yeah, open. Wide. big open windows. Right, let's make it through this maze. Wow, look at the staircase from this angle. It's like the one thing left in place. Living over here. Look at yeah. those, what are they? Onions, something. Oh <laughs> uh, no, no, they don't. What are they? Bulbs. Oh yeah, look, B day. Oh yeah, God, I would love to have seen this place when it was uh, up and running. But look at that plaster there, look how it's bent where it's been on there for so long. Oh my God. Where it's got damp. <laughs> so it looks like this would have gone round the bath at some point, but it's like marble. Nice wood. Wooden sides. This would have been so fancy here. Yeah, it would have been really fancy. There's the front door. Look, all the lanterns. There's another one of these. So I wonder if they, they were just for like basins or something maybe. Mm. In the it's kitchen, kitchen it, tops. It? Yeah, it is. Oh look, it's the old part of the floor. Oh yeah. One of the bits. And there's more wooden floor underneath. Such a shame to see a place like this. Crazy. Let's see, look, they were obviously planning on refurbing it because that's brand new. Oh, yeah. That's not even old. These surfaces. This is just crazy. Oh. More old photos. Wow, look at that. The, lo the Lord Loafer. The Lord. You see, this was owned by a Lord. Oh, right. Some sort of church, your pub. It's all different photographs of the local area, isn't it? Yeah. Just sat here wasting. Stuff like that should be in a museum, really. Up the grand staircase. I can't believe the staircase has survived, really. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Goes up a long way. Bathtubs in. Bathtubs in the hallway. Yeah, they're big baths, man. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those. Yeah, I think we could. We, we, we could fit that in our bathroom. Look, there's like temp <laughs> temperature control and stuff there. It's so pretty modern. Yeah, what's it say? Something. Air bath. Air bath, then. Yeah. Let's take a look around, see what else we can find. See, look, all the furniture. Wow. 
the old display cabinets. It's really weird how they've stored it all in there. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't all burn. Yeah, it's a terrible shape now, look at that. Just peel it off. Oof, yeah. It looks like that. I think that went on top, yeah. yeah. It's got a hole in it too. I think it works. A really posh bathroom sink. Look at this big mirror. This was with the bathroom stuff, I think. Yeah. Can you imagine? I think this been? could have been a bathroom right here. I think you've got the bathtubs, yeah. you've got the mirror, you've got the dresser with the sink and stuff. Could have been. Now look at it. And the grand old pillars just left as well. Yeah. Should we skip through there? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, that's doors or something. Wow. Water, Big double maybe. double doors. Can you imagine how tall that would be? He stood up right. Look at that carving in there. Oh, sweet through. Beautiful, beautiful area. Would have been that old fireplace. There'd have been many, many fireplaces in here. That is an incredible view. Whoa. Look at these big drawers. Whoa. Massive. Oh, are they cabinets? I can't tell. God knows, but it's leaking there. They're doing for something very big. Big open room. They've covered all the fireplaces up, haven't they? Yeah, they're all covered up. That is a shame. Wow, that's castle. That's like a castle, isn't it? It's castle vibes. That like pointed arch. Brick arch there. I do actually feel like I'm in a castle right now. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> See, look, they've plastered the walls in here. Yeah. So weird, isn't it? So they just just stopped on there. Yeah. So it's a shame. I think the problem is with listed buildings that you can't do anything to it. And once you no. start the work and it starts getting more and more expensive because you have to do it exactly the same as it was before, most of the time it kills buildings. Yeah, it's such a shame. Yeah. Another amazing view out the window. Just the mountains. Beautiful. So I think that's lived in, isn't it? It's got new windows and stuff. It's super rotten, isn't it? It is. It's wet. I'm like sliding around on the floor. I'm glad to see the staircase though. Yeah. At least that survived. Yeah. More wood. It looks like, do you know what all this is? They were probably recreating the original, um, Oh, yeah. The, all the original furniture and trimmings and all that. Jesus, what job. Like those round discs, they would probably carve them. They've already got like a bezelled edge sort of thing. Oh. But they've actually got it all in plastic, all the furniture here. Oh, it's so weird, isn't it? So much effort's gone into it and then just... Just, just left. There she goes. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Photos. Chester Cathedral. Mm. Worcester Cathedral. Wow. I can't look at that. It's a brand new. Yeah, you could just put that in somebody's house. I'd have that in my workshop. <laughs> and these as well with the brass uh, feet on them. Oh look, I reckon that was all legs to a big table. 
Do you think? Well, one big one? Yeah, because you look how big the t legs are. Oh, you know, a little yeah. table on top. No, you wouldn't. Oh, cold, it? <laughs> Jess is the mystery solver. <laughs> um, mushroom. Jelly. Blip. Jelly what? Blip. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of rabbits. There you go. Running yeah. around out there. That's so weird. It's like optical Down illusion. there by the fence. Yeah, look. Can you see them? Oh, look. There's one there. There's loads. That's so weird. It's when you start well, to look, then yeah, you start to appear. Oh, there's loads of... Oh, my God. <laughs> Swarms of rabbits. Oh, my God. They all just ran off. Look at all the little lambs congregating around the oh. fallen tree. They're so sweet. All the old furniture. Shame. Big dining set. Oh, it's soaking wet over there. Big sofas, look. Oh, um, yeah. Wow. See up into the roof. Up on this level, it feels much more like a, the size of a normal house when you're Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's, it's huge, and it's like two stories. Where are they packed all of this away? I've got the fabric on the front and stuff. Mm. Another big room. Oh dear, windows fell out. Oh, look, it yeah, fell. It look, it fell in. Maybe someone tried to open it. Yeah. God, Sun's dear. slowly setting. Pretty beautiful. Unfortunately, all the upstairs rooms are empty. It's just really weird exploring a place like this. It is. Just completely gutted, but with all the furniture left behind. Yeah. It's a sad sight, actually. Yeah. It is a really sad Real sight. Always, especially with this scenery around it. Mm. I think we're going to wrap it up here, guys. It's been a cool explore, definitely enjoyable. Really yeah. enjoyed it. It's just a shame to see it in such a state. It is. But if you want to see what happens now when we turn this camera off, once it goes dark, make sure you head over to Dark Arts TV on YouTube. We're going to be ghost hunting this place. There's all sorts of crazy ghost, ghost stories surrounding this building. Yeah. But thank you everyone for watching, and we'll catch you next time.